everybody, Cindy Etter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm actually doing quite well. Um, today's an errand day, so i got to get out and uh, get the oil changed in my car and um, go to the bank, the pharmacy, you know, all that wonderful stuff. And what I decided to do real quick before I head out the door is I wanted to do a flip through on my Hannah Montana journal. Now I'm going to give you a fair advance warning. I got this journal when I very, well this book, it's an altered book, um, when I very first began Mex Media. So I had no clue what I was doing. Um, and some of these pages are definitely going to show that. So the cover, I have just, you guys saw the video on that. I just modged a lot of cool stuff down and then I put a real nice coat of varnish over the top of it. Um, missed a spot right there, but that's all right. This is one of my first pages, and I'll just kind of bring it in a little bit to show you. I, like I said, I had no idea at this point what I was doing. Um, I was having a lot of fun with stamps, which I still, I need to get back to use my stamps because I like this. Um, so no words. I, I, I wasn't on the word train at that point. Uh, these are actually flowers that were sent to me in a in a swap that we did and again this was a uh, several years ago um, I really don't know who sent them to me if you did please definitely put a comment below and let me know because these I just love them I love them I used them as trees I um, used a lot of washi I threw a lot of stuff at this a lot of scraps <laughs> like I said here's one of my girls I think she was when I was actually starting to get a little bit better at and then love who you are. And you know, it's very tempting to go back in here and finish these pages the way I, I would like to now. I'm going to tip it up a little bit. There's a glare for my overhead light. Um, but I really don't want to do that because this is part of my process. This is, you know, what I've been through. This is me. Can I bring it in? Whoops. In a little bit more. No, I guess not. But anyways, there's that page. Then we go on. This one. This one I was just playing with, oops, sorry about that. Playing with different uh, paints and sprays and just seeing what they would do. And then I just had those butterfly stickers and this uh, dandelion sticker. Okay, another page. This one actually has clear gesso over it. It feels really weird. Sisters, uh, again, I was playing with some silhouettes that I had. Um, these are Diane Reevely's uh, stamp set, I believe, or mask set, mask and stencil set. And then just playing around with backgrounds. I love it. I love this background. This was a lot of fun. This one, apparently, I decided um, I wanted to do a lot of words. Some of them I decorated around. Most of them I did not. You know, like I said, I really want to go back in and, and finish these pages, but it's part of my journey, so I'm not going to. Live life creatively. Oh, happy day. This page, I absolutely love, 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 love. I love this background. It's just, i got to get a good picture of this background. This is a card that came from Jenny Belly. Um... I had ordered some, uh, one of her happy mails or something, or a surprise mail or whatever it was, off her Etsy shop. And this was a card that came with it, and I just, I absolutely fell in love with it, and I decided it needed to be on this page. So that's where it is. Love this background. I have no idea what I was thinking. <laughs> I played around with purple and orange. Um... Again, I, I was just figuring out what could go, what could what what we could do. This is a uh, Tamara Laporte background. This is Tam's girl, um, and more of her background. And what I had done is I was doing lessons with Tam, so I had printed out the actual paper lessons, and I ended up cutting them apart and putting these on here. These um, feathers came from Gina Aaron's. We're talking, you know, a few years ago. So I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but there she is, in all her glory. This is just random pieces, all greens and yellows and light browns that I just, apparently I glued down and decided that was good. So, they make kind of cool backgrounds. I was messing around. 
<clears throat> pardon me, messing around with paint. I was just making a mess and playing. I like this one. That looks like just a, a nightmare. That looks like a nightmare. I like this one, though. It's just different, but playing around, making a mess. These Hannah, Hannah Montana books are actually really good because you can, um, they're so heavy. They're like a real, real heavy cardstock. So you can really throw a lot at them, and they don't bend. They don't anything. <laughs> Look at this girl. Hang on. Before we go to her, here is, um, it was funny. I was talking with Gina about this, and I said, oh, my God, Gina, look at that. And she says, you know what that is? She goes, that's a scrapbooker learning how to do mixed media. <laughs> and I have to agree with her. This is atrocious. <laughs> so the good, bad, and the ugly. Now, check out this lady. <laughs> She's not so bad, but, I mean, she's, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, again, this is part of my journey. It's part of the mixed media fun. And it's great to go back and look at these, and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, here's one I recently, and, I, you know, I can't say it's gotten a whole lot better, a little better, but not. Um, these are the recent pages um, because I hadn't finished this journal, and one of my goals this year is to finish up a bunch of journals that I have sitting on my desk. Um, this girl was actually in the book. I did not draw her. Um, when I gessoed over the page, I kind of left her image a little bit so I could see her, and I just outlined her. So this image was in the book. You guys have seen this girl with two separate sizes of eyes. Just playing. My piece page. In all its glory. Again, I was just playing. This day that I made this page, I was actually rearranging my studio, and every now and then I just had to sit down and relax. So I just, I'd grab a stencil or something and play with this, and that's how it ended up. So this is my angel. One of my angels. Um, you've seen this page. Okay, again, I used the masks that I had created out of magazine pages. Um, do you feel alone in a crowd? If so, just dance. And I know a lot of people on chronic pain have this exact feeling. You feel completely alone. So it all, you know, it all ties in. It all tells a story. And this girl, um, I was playing around with the background. I've got a lot of texture on here. I've got a lot of modeling paste and uh, drywall tape. And I think that's just strings. Yeah, just strings. Um, but I saw her, so she came out. And then sometimes you just need to be alone. So apparently I needed some alone time. Okay, and then the back of the book. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. There's my completed. Yay! Hannah Montana, she's done. She's out of here. Um, this can go up on the shelf, and I'm really, really happy and excited about that. So um, as always, be kind have fun that's what life's all about if you have any questions please put them in the comments below please like share and comment i'd really appreciate it and as always happy creating we'll talk to you soon bye